In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Migurus Jutes 290 for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Migurus Jutes 290 for American Truck Simulator and we are in the Aveco Truck Dealer in Phoenix. Yes, this is a special dealer that has been made specially for this truck, just so you can purchase it. Now, if we have a look, a quick look around, I just want to show you this. It's really interesting. Look at the background as you spin around there. It's all weird. It's like craziness. It's like um, the video footage is doubled up and then reversed and then doubled up and done all sorts of weird stuff. I don't know. But you can see the truck in many different forms there and it looks weird. But anyway, look, let's get into the customized configuration and check it out. Uh, now, first of all, having a look at the actual cabin, there is only one cabin for this. Uh, now, having a look at the chassis, um, 6x4, that's it. That's all you get, just the chassis. Uh, engine, two engines. Uh, it's a V8 or a V8. And uh, we've got the 182 horsepower or the 280 horsepower. So, unfortunately, there's only one sound with this truck. Now, uh, having a look at the transmission, we've got a 12-speed, we have a 16-speed, and a 12-speed and 16-speed in retarder. So, really, there's only four different gearboxes, which, ah, well, you know, these things happen. Let's try the 16-speed and see how that goes. Interior. Now, having a look at the interior, now, I'll have to say that this model is definitely different to any other model that I've seen of this truck before the outside uh, may look similar but the inside has definitely been redone now um, from the notes that I actually did read on this truck the model complete model had been rebuilt for this so that's why it does look different to any of the actual jutes that we've seen in the in the past so but look it looks good I mean there's no jaggedy bits the the gauges are clear as look at them very clear you can easily see what is going on with this mod uh whether the truck's over revving or what and uh, the seat textures look great all the textures look great in this so uh as we you know it's not like it's old textures that have been revamped and tried to push into a new model no it's totally new so uh, that in itself is really good now, having a look at the paint jobs, we've got whites, greens, reds, yellows, blues, there's a black star, uh, graphite grey, and then you've got custom colours, so you can pretty much choose any custom colour you like. So, if you're not happy with anything, look, there you go, you can choose anything. I think red looks best of all with this. Now, metallic colours can be used with this, which is really good. We're just going to test to see how they work. That's probably the best view to see it. So there's the first one. The second one, as you can see, worked really well. And there is the third one. Working really good and it's perfect. So, um, can't really catch up too many mod modders, you know, anymore with that. You know, it's an old trick that I've been using ever since I started. And it used to catch a lot of people, but, you know, now it's not catching so many. So, um, you know, I think, I don't know. Uh, maybe I might have stopped doing that. No, who who am I kidding? Uh, I'm gonna put that in red because I reckon it looks pretty cool. Actually, if we try it down here, we go down to a yellow. Ah, look at that. See, that looks old school kind of truck. That does. That's pretty cool. Uh, maybe not so much. There we go. That's a little bit better there. That looks better. Now, uh, let's have a look at the accessories. So, uh, there's a few accessories here to choose from. Uh, I've got the bull bar, the bumper bar on the front there. You can change many different styles there. And as you can see, the lights change. You've got spotlights on there, two little spotlights. Or you can have just the one singular light there and then changing the color of the bumper there to a red. Not sure why the red is such a big fashionable thing, but um, it is. So, um, look, I'm going to chuck on that one there. Where is it? Where is it? That one there. That looks great. Perfect perfect now uh moving on up there we have a logo now the logo down the bottom there if you have a look the migra jutes 
and you can change that logo there to no logo or you can have Migra Jude's there or you know whatever you want oh there you go the logo is in the grill there the IC and there you go it's in the grill again there we go very nice uh, flags you can have a whole heap of different flags as you can see here and those flags are on the side of the actual truck there which looks pretty cool a uh, little bit different from stuffed in the window I think it looks you know a little bit better there and they've used all of the flag pack rather than just a couple of flags which is really really good now uh, for me I'm going to chuck on yes lo and behold Australia believe it or not I am an Australian there we go as many of you some of you have actually said no I'm Canadian no that's not true I am Australian there we go uh, right there's that logo again there is the I don't know what that is that is carrier one don't know can we take it out oh there we go it actually removes it removes the handle on the side there we go that's what it does now having a look over here that is the grill color you can change the grill color there and I believe that that one is chrome so we're gonna try that I'll leave that on there and see how that goes um, over here there's the flag yes we did that there is the co-drivers plate if you want to add in any of the raven leds you can do so and there is the actual uh, there is another lead you can put in there as well or the actual drivers plate so other than that we have the exhausts going in the background and there you go there's dual exhaust single exhaust left front and dual or you can have a grass burner whichever you want let's just chuck on the dual shall we uh, moving around what else do we have here we have the GPS uh, GPS we'll have a look at inside the truck now on the outside there we have got the chrome mirrors color mirrors or plastic uh, what, let's put on chrome why not let's do that there's the exhaust again uh, air cleaner it's the air cleaner color or just black we'll put on black just to mix it up a bit uh, the actual dots sorry about that that's my phone uh, the actual dots inside the windshield we'll have a look at those later and there is a sun visor there which is a sun shield color you can have plastic or you can have chrome so let's chuck on chrome may as well may as well make it look good now what else do we have here moving on around uh, that is that is little door of oh, the little trim it says doors for some reason it says doors but it's got nothing to do with doors actually it's actually the step and uh, the step is way over into the actual wheel for some reason I don't know why that is actually stuffed into the wheel there that looks a bit stupid uh, maybe we can actually remove it can we no we can't because there's no X there so uh, unfortunately we have to deal with that so let's just put it as uh, plastic and hopefully while we're driving along it blows off you never know uh, the rims let's have a look at the rims it comes with its own standard rims uh, however you can go and chuck on any of the tires if you wish the uh, uh, the rims there I, I think I'm going to use the ones that come with it you know the standard ones um, let's just use those there and again you can use any of the standard rims there which look pretty cool but we're going to use the ones that come with it and let's see does it come with its own nuts as well yes it does comes with its own nuts just to make it look really good and there is the actual the hub center and a cap does it come with a cap Do, oh yes there it is there that looks great beautiful love it let's leave it at that uh, what do we got up there that is the main mirrors we've already had a look at those uh, then we have the tires there now if you want to choose different tires like the default tires you know from the standard rims you have to select the rim first and then go to the tire and select the tire but I'm gonna leave that as is because that is set to the uh, the rim that is standard with that so let's just leave it as that hubs are fine that's fine all good all good we'll leave that one there as is and that is pretty much it we're moving around to this side here there we go that's all there's no side mirrors or anything like that that step there is a bother it does bother me uh, I don't know why that's there but that is a real bummer 
Now let's move over to the accessories. Uh, looking from left to right here. There we go. It's the main mirrors. You can choose the main mirrors here, and you can see that they do change a little bit there. Uh, then we have the GPS. You can remove that if you want to have just the GPS in there. I'm going to remove it. Uh, the flag. You can change that flag to whatever flag, although you can't see it from the inside. Now the steering wheel, there is only one steering wheel to choose from this. I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't add in any of the other steering wheels that you can actually choose within the game. But uh, never mind, these things happen. Uh, if you have Sizzle's Mega Pack installed, you can use that so we can go and stick on a big giant white pearl knob. There you go. Um, and then over there we've got driver's plate uh, then what else do we have over here dashboard dots uh, let's see you can go and chuck on anything you like there um, let's see can we chuck in hula hula I don't know hula let's go hula h-u-l-a yes there she is hula hula there she is and you can chuck in something else as, uh, there as well uh, if you want like a water bottle or something. No, that's just not sitting right. No, that's not sitting in there, correct. Fanta, there we go. Can of Fanta's working well for me. Alright, uh, then we've got the flags there. Uh, we've got the console. You can stick a cup there, like a Michelin cup. The co-driver's plate. Air, the air cleaners. Then some dashboard, well the actual windshield dots. Which works with Sizzle's Mega Pack. Which we're going to chuck on a smelly tree. And then what do we have there? There's the windshield. And up top there is a dangly item. So you can add your danglies there in the middle of your truck. There you go. Let's add fluffy dice. There we go. Now over here there is the main mirrors. And last but not, oh, well not last, but almost last. You've got your bag. You've got, you've got uh, Melissa there. Melissa, she's a bit snooty. She's looking out the window there as if like... Oh, I don't care. Really don't care that you're giving me a lift. But anyway, I'm getting a lift. And that's fine. She can be snooty all you like. She's just good to look at. Uh, and then up the back there is the exhaust. There we go. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Let's go and confirm that. And let's do a trade-in on the last mod. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Oh, very nice. Yes. And what's it look like on the outside? Let's have a look. Wait for that map to load there. Oops, there it goes. And don't forget guys, this is at the Aveco dealer. It is a special Aveco dealer made for this truck. Yeah, that front step on the front there looks pretty crap the way it's going through that front wheel. So that is a bit of a disappointment there. It says Kenworth dealer. Why does it say Kenworth dealer when it's a Veco? That's weird. Look at Melissa there. She's like, oh, I'll sit next to you, but I really don't like it. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's have a look around. That looks really nice. I like the modeling. Looks good. Now let's start her up and see how it see how it sounds. There you go. Well that's a nice engine sound, isn't it? Got a lot of grunt. There you go, there's some lights. High beams. Uh, we have flashes. Flashes are working. Uh, beacons, no beacons on there. Uh, what else have we got? Um, drop axles, no drop axles. Horns. Air horn. Oh, that's a nice air horn, that is. Wipers, yes, wipers are working. Very good. That's very good. Um, and I think that is pretty much it. Let's spin around and have a look at the back of the truck. And there is working. We'll put the brakes on and reverse lights are working. That is good. Very, very good. Right, that's nice. Let's jump on the inside here. Wipers are working, thank you. Turn those wipers off. Flashes are working, yes. Melissa's just not interested at all. She doesn't give a rats. And that that gauge is clear as. That's what I like to see in mods. Very clear gauges. Very good. Well, it helps if I put the clutch in when I'm changing gears. 
<laughs> um, there was no other sounds to check out. It was basically that one engine. So I'm just, look, I'm going to go quickly just check it out just to make sure. Because you never know. You never, never know. If you never, never go. So let's just try that out and see what happens. Listen to that engine. That's cool. I like that. That is old school truck. That is right there. Okay, let's let's test it out. Go in and I will chuck on the other engine, which was that one right there. Confirm. Thank you very much. And jump on the outside. Oh, oh wrong button. There we go. Let's fire it up, shall we? I love that starting sound. There we go. It is the same sound. So let's now take it for a drive. Sounds good. I like it. For an old school truck, I could really get used to driving this. I really could. And I'm going to swing it around here. Let's see. What do we got? Yeah, nothing. Oops. There we go. turn there is the indicator oh yeah indicator is working it's just over that side there look it's fine to drive it's um very much reminds me of an old school truck it really does you know it's um what you would expect exactly what you would expect from this kind of truck is how it reacts how it drives how it sounds you know, it, it, it's really quite interesting. Now, one thing I want to check is, just test. There is a couple of errors, material errors by the looks of it. Frame paint. See, there's that error there. And then what else is that there? Unable to find uh, closest city. Oh, that's not got anything to do with the truck. But it's just a material error. So that's not really anything, you know, anything too exciting not a bad bad problem so but it still had an error which is yeah it's no big deal turn those lights on look there's the taco there it's only small isn't it <laughs> there's the banana break there we go well look this truck is actually really interesting isn't it it's a bit of a surprise I thought that this truck was going to be a real lemon, to be honest, um, having a look at it in the mod site, and but now I've actually driven it, I'm thinking this is not bad. I mean, it sounds like an old truck, it drives like an old truck, it is an old truck, so therefore it really does portray it as it should be, so, uh, it, you know, it's what you would expect it to be, guys. So. Is it worthy, though, of the weekly drive? Well, that's not up to me. That is up to you. So if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then punch that like button in the ass and make sure that you have your vote because your vote counts. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game up.